So they just, they'll want to know what happened at Poco Kahara. So I got a bagel on break. I'm fairly certain that my lipstick will all wear off. But it's worth it because I'm hungry. It's worth it because I'm hungry. You can't sleep so you're back? Welcome back, that's it. Get wrecked. Wow. Have I smooched eater a uh, dare yet? No. It's so sad. I have not yet smooched a dare. Wait, I detected a trap? Where is the trap? Oh, ow. Is that the trap? I just want to try and make sure that I've got this whole map uncovered. You know who also hasn't smooched a dare, though? Shoddy. Oh, man. Delum gone. Go get the Delum gone, okay? Kill them all. No So, are you further than this in your playthrough? Um, ending X Meta. You were saying that you um you've gotten farther than this. I'll see it done. Sure thing. I've gotten closer to smooching Shodi though. I mean, which was unintentional, all right. I did not intend to get closer to smooching Shodi. You notice a small pavilion containing Welcome a large flock. Comrade Mikhail! Welcome to the flock! Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub! You guys, we are five subs away from five, five, five. Five, five, five. Comrade Mikhail, thanks for getting us a little bit closer. I really appreciate it. Welcome. Is it a welcome back or a welcome? I can't. Your name looks very familiar. Anywho, we found a Juana shrine. Approach it and identify it. It portrays Rikuhu, the Juana's rendition of Bereth. An inscription runs along the shrine's base. Some flee, others fight. Rikuhu consumes all. You've been in and out. Okay, that makes sense. Um, pollen and dirt dust the statue, and grass grows wild at its base. It seems some time since the shrine was tended. Um, meditate on your travails and rest. 
Seated at the shrine, you steady your breathing and allow your muscles to loosen. You organize your thoughts, setting them in order. When you stand, everything seems less perilous or more attainable. Welcome to the flock. Misty! Oh, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub! Welcome to the flock! Enjoy those emotes! A month of free emotes! And thank you for getting us one sub closer! We're now four subs away from five, five, five! I just like fives a lot. I'm a big fan of fives. Okay. If you've been around for long enough, you, you know this. Okay, so... We are to go back to... Let me just... Return to Valian Trading Company. Return to Imperial Command. Find Mad Morena. That's in Nekataka. These are all in Nekataka. That's in Nekataka. There's Bounties. Storms of Pokokahara. That's also um, in Nekataka. Return to Khan at the Wild Mare. Mm, there's some Bounties. This is head to Sayuka and wait for Alof. Okay, so let's just go back to Nekataka. I think going back to Nekataka is the best way. Yay! Did we go here? We did go here. Sailing takes forever, y'all. All right. Um, the Brass Citadel? Queen's Birth. Let's go to the Valians first. Um, how are you finding this game so far? I really like it. I, there's so much to do. There's so many quests. There's so much to explore. Um, I'm really enjoying actually switching out the party members a lot more than I did in the first game to like get into all of their backstories and stuff. It's really good. It's really fun. The voice acting is great. The, tr the fast travel has gotten so much better. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Oh, wait, we should get Palagina, shouldn't we? We should get Palagina before we um, go to the Valian Trading Company. Don't you have a temple to find? I found Oswald. And? Where is he? Did you get my money? Um, Oswald's dead. He was executed by Vodican, Vil by Vodican Vigilantes. Khan's face falls. She looks away quickly, tears just budding on her eyelashes, and dashes them away with a shuddering sigh. After the brief storm of emotion has passed, she steadies herself and turns hard eyes on you. Gods, but I'm dead tired of this wretched archipelago. She exhales a deep sigh. So, if you don't mind, I'll be taking my leave. May Wall's legion of creepy eyes watch your back and all that. Khan gives you a curt nod and finishes the remainder of her drink with a gulp. She hustles out the tavern with, without so much as a wave goodbye. Where's Cutie at the bar? Hi, Cutie at the bar. Yeah. What can I do for you? Have you seen a group of Royal Deadfire Company soldiers in here? Hi, they're up on the balcony outside. Noisy bunch. If this is some kind of trading company squabble, take it elsewhere, right? My staff already have more work than they need. 
and blood's damnably difficult to get out of the room. You let them kill him? No, he's in my crew. Oh fuck, I just lied to her. Whoops. One sec, one sec. Isn't Oswald in my crew? Okay, um... Yeah, he's right here. Of course. Don't you have a temple to hand? Where is he? Did you get my money? Um... Oswald was flat broke. Not a copper to his name. Is that right? That twisty old pig licker. I should have known. I didn't realize. I thought he died. She looks away quickly. Uh, tears just budding on her eyelashes. Gods, but I'm so if you don't mind. Okay, and she just leaves anyway. Now, what can I do for you? See anything? Okay, so I'm going to the both of these two people's houses, so I should get them. Um, let's dismiss Farewell. our friends, the uh, mats. For just a second. Oh, you know what? No, because we're going to go to the Shrine of Gone. We should get that map back. Uh, uh, I haven't had Seraphin in the party for a while. Um, He doesn't have anything to do with the Shrine of Gone. Let's get Seraphin. music <laughs> yeah it's supposed to be a spiritual successor yeah, I've heard a lot of people talk about Baldur's Gate when they talk about this one So he's just a cipher. Hmm, psychic silent scream was always good. Welcome to the flock. Starksy! Welcome to the flock! Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub! Enjoy your month of free emotes. I have done that skein. We already did that, yeah. Um we are now three subs away from five five five. Is the game worth playing? You're a huge fan of Baldur's Gate. Is this similar? It is similar. I think it's really good. I find it very fun to play, even if you haven't played the first one. Um, thank you so much. Um, mentally links an ally to those around them, forcing attackers to experience a portion of all damage the ally suffers. Um... Draining Whip causes the Cypher's weapons to generate a field of parasitic energy that lashes out at the target, increasing damage inflicted, enhances the draining power, regenerating focus more quickly, or the Cypher's soul whip bites deeper, gaining, gaining a greater bonus to damage. Sure. Um, yeah, he's got a couple levels up. He's got a couple levels up that we can do. Um, what are some good cypher things? Weren't you playing a cypher, Aldric? Or it's this one's entirely single player. Hmm. What are some good cypher spells? Hippo font. I think he's been using a pistol. Where are... Our... 
Where's hammering weapons? Mind lance. Secret horrors. Phantom foes. Valorous echoes. Psychic backlash is good. Do that one. Charm. Charm, people. Okay, more mechanics. More streetwise. Um, borrowed instinct. Detonate. Splinters the target's soul with sheer force, inflicting raw damage. Near death targets explode. Cause a reverberating wave to wash over all those near a target ally, granting friendly characters resolute and removing concentration from enemies. Imprints an insidious and powerful compulsion to obey the cipher across all enemies in the area of effect, dominating the target and char charming all others. Hey, what's this? Brutal backlash. Oh, there's psychic backlash. Sending an enemy whenever this. Okay. I found it. Your mom doesn't know how to use a cell phone. How did you get her interested in subbing to you? Well, I mean, you see. Your mom and I are pen pals. We've exchanged letters for a while. <laughs> Hi, Grand Outlaw. How are you? All right, so now we'll go to the Valian Trading Company. I saw you send off that missive. What are you telling the company now? It was a special request to have your bird captured Welcome and held hostage. Until you stop asking me stupid questions. <laughs> Haas, thank you so much for the sub. For your mom. All right, I'll tell her in my next letter that you that you um, sub to me. She'll be so happy. Welcome to the flock. Mm. Comrade Mikhail, thank you so much for that gift sub. Tyrion, welcome to the flock. Enjoy your new emotes and your new sub badge, courtesy of Comrade Mikhail. Is that it? Is that five 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 five? Sorry, I can't. That's the bathroom. Never met a lock I couldn't crack. Well, come back. Ah, there we good. go. You're back. Five, 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 I five, hope you five. Had a pleasant voyage. Five, five. It takes a little minute to update. Um, <clears throat> a very strange voyage for sure. Ah, before you get too far on the way, I think you ought to come with me. Director Castor will want to hear from you in person. Okay. The man who rises to greet you has a tidy scholarly bearing only emphasized by the thin frame lenses he pushed farther up his nose. He clasps his hands together, offering you a smile equal parts polite and relieved. Alvari tells me you are kind enough to look into this business on Pococahara for us. I hope you bring good news. A lot of corpses for one viable Adra pillar. I hope it's worth it. A terrible price to be certain. But at least we have not lost everything. 
An Adra vein of that size will go some way towards setting us back on our feet. Mm -hmm. Assuming we can replace the people we lost. I notice Beza is not with you. Did you find any sign of the expedition? They died in the ruins of Pogakara. The, def the defenses were too much for them. A sorry end for such dedicated individuals. How very fortunate that you lived to tell their tale. I don't like any of these people. I believe I can take things from here, Alvari. Agrasima. The Watcher and I have more business to discuss. Oh, and uh, do pay the woman for her trouble first. I gained a lot of copper. I'm sorry, I just like... I couldn't stand, like, I couldn't stand by and see the I the Audra Pillar, like, right to broken no and dead. I am Ignato Castel, director of the Valian Trading Company's operations here in the Deadfire. Mm -hmm. I thought it best I speak with you face to face. Watchers are not so numerous here in the Deadfire, especially those of such storied backgrounds as yourself. What was that group? The, uh... Doesn't? Yeah. Ah, some interesting exploits there. And I think that we are each of us in a position to offer each other something that we cannot find elsewhere. Is that so? The Valian Trading Company has had a presence on this island for nearly a century now. We have the greatest fleet on the seas, the support of the richest men and women in the world. What can the Royal Deadfire Company offer? A soldier's wages so that you can elevate the fortunes of a distant king and the queen a place in the kahanga tribe among all the rest of these neglected people you've lived outside the caste system all these years are you eager to return to it no i can give you money fame certainly but the men and women of the company we set our aims high and if i only wanted to offer you work as an Adra Inspector, I would have let Alvari deal with you. I'm not looking for a job. No, I imagine not. But if you would consider a temporary partnership, I think you would find the benefits to your liking. The Valian Trading Company has maintained an outpost here in Nekataka for nearly a century now. It was only two years ago that we discovered the effects of Luminous Adra with the aid of our Animancers and several Watchers. Flaune Alet has continued to Flaune. study the potential of Luminous Adra in all manner of advances. Why content ourselves to sell all this Adra as a luxury when we might use it to change the world? How about you don't sell it at all? But of course you understand all of this. Alet sent word of your involvement in her latest experiment. A very dramatic first attempt, I hear. Though, uh... Alette has a tendency to gloss over details, but uh, I want to hear it from you. How did it go? If you ever want to drop by and visit Rimmer again, now you know where to go. Oh, it wouldn't work for me, I think, but Ak, I take your meaning. More dangerous than expected, yes? I hope Alette paid you well for your trouble. A small comfort, but These you'll people. return from your adventure a little wealthier, at least. They think lives can be exchanged for money. We are in the early days of Alette's research. Flawed as this outing was, there Not about this is life. promise there. This is only the start, you know. The very dawn of a new age of discovery. But just imagine. Castell spreads his hands. His eyes behind his spectacles are fever bright with enthusiasm. Imagine if we could transport goods and people more quickly than any vessel or horse. Cure every kind of ailment. Perhaps cure disease altogether. We'll extend our lifespans by decades, maybe even centuries one day. This has all been the work of a single outpost. I want there to be a dozen outposts, a hundred. Animancers working together to better our lives. Look at what we have left behind. Old Velia is a battlefield at constant war with itself. But the republics have risen from that past. We can rise farther still. You know, I have a feeling that this is going to turn into inventing, like, nuclear power just to build nukes. And in doing so, we like, will this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna turn out us. well. Belfeto. 
Pelagina's outburst is restricted to a single word, but her gaze is riveted to the director. For a moment, you even see the blue flames of zeal flickering in the depths of her eyes. I am not a Rawatai, and I am not from Old Valia. So, lofty goals, Castle. Yes, but achievable, I think. I may not live to see it, but I will see the groundwork done. But uh, I've said enough. Too much, I think. There will be more experiments to come. Until then, I have a more grounded task I need assistance with. Nothing that should put your spirit in any danger. I don't know. Nekataka sees its share of smuggling. I doubt that would surprise anyone. But we've learned of a particular exchange that will have more dire effects than a few spoiled Hawana peasants. Wow. There is a Royal Deadfire Company official by the name of Quarno, who has been meeting in secret with one of the Principi. Oh, fuck. I do not believe he works with the approval of his masters. Okay. He meets with a Captain Tola, a known pirate and smuggler. I hope I don't have to tell you that an alliance between a crooked royal official and the Principi is not the kind of trouble any of us need. Yeah, I'm not into that alliance. I have a woman, Britza, waiting in the luminous bathhouse in Periki's Oval. The smugglers do Ooh, business Ooh, you get to go to the bath again! And she has kept an eye but... on us. I promise to send assistance. Find her, and she will tell you what she knows. Why not just tell the Royal Deadfire Company? Telling you amounts to much the same, no? Someone has to put a stop to things. I'm not with them. Good thing that someone is us. Rawatai and black powder is worth its weight in Audra out here. Uh, I've got some questions first. Of course. Best to go in prepared. Why help the Royal Deadfire Company? The discipline of the royal officers isn't really what any of this is about. I'm more concerned about the pirates. In this particular case, the companies share an enemy. Can you tell me more about Brise? A fine Valian woman. Steady mm, temper. The bathhouse sees an enormous number of patrons every day. It is a useful place to have a set of eyes and ears on hand. Do you know anything about these smugglers? Only that Tola is a captain of middling repute and some small ambition. I expect she feels that a partnership with Quarna will give her an edge. Britza will know more. Oh, we must have lost the sub before we could get to 555. But excellent. Always Meeting gaining and losing and gaining and watching. losing. One step forward, I'll one step back. Report. Always, Roger, always. If you have a moment, I'd like to tell you something. Yes, Palagina. I appreciate that you have been helping me. Helping the Republic. Enough to smooch me? I know that you have an important purpose in the dead fire. And that purpose is not the same as ours. Still, I hope you can see the potential the Republics have to do good here. There is potential, yes, but the situation is complicated. Quite. But I trust you will continue to support us in the future. Mm. Mm. All right. Uh, let's get you a bit more religion and alchemy. And then... Uh, what were we going to get? Barring death's door seems rad. Um, uh, um, uh, nagging doubt in the face of unbreakable faith consumes enemies in the area of effect, lowering their melee accuracy and downgrading their critical hits to hit. Um, strengthen allies in battle. Um, pillar of faith. Zephyrus! Welcome back for three months in a row. And yes, that is back to 555. Five, five. Sub must have just expired. Thank you for resubscribing. I appreciate that. Thank you. It means a lot to me.
Paladin. And she's diplomatic. Tweedly deedly dee. Deflection bonus or damage taken by affected allies is great. Wait, by affected enemies is greatly increased. Yeah, let's fucking do it. Tweedly deedly dee. I can't help myself. Okay. All right, so our next stop is to go talk to the um, Brass Citadel folk. So let's, uh, how do we get out of here? Oh, let's go down here. Yeah. Tweedly deedly dee. I love the sounds of their tiny little footsies going patter 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 patter. I don't know why, I just do. Okay, I think that there was some people um in the wild mare that I needed to talk to for some reason or another. That's honestly I really like having it on fast. I did love that song. I kind of like I mean, I've been hearing that noise as a positive reinforcement for like two years now we haven't had it on the whole time but it was my sub um sub sound when i first got my sub button so it has a special place in my heart i think we're gonna change it up pretty soon i placed it there for my um two year for my two year anniversary i um oh this is where i want to go I changed it back to the original sub sound, um, but I might change it again soon. I'm just not sure to what. It just wants you to hear it so many times. Whose guts twist around like a rusty corkscrew? Oh, the sailor who can't hold down Queaky Stew. My Arua? The sailor's eyes bulge. He prods his cohorts with an elbow and shush. They all stand at attention. Didn't think I'd find you in Queen's birth, did you? At ease, soldier. Uh, apologies, ma'am. We promised to behave this time. Yeah, kind of, Jamesy. Defiance Bay, am I right? <clears throat> A sizable Omoa smiles and claps you on the shoulder, hard. Who are you again? I was but a face in the crowd, but I remember the one who walked out of Hadrid House alive. He claps you on your shoulder again, harder, and this time you recognize inebriation behind his enthusiasm. To Tokoa, may our enemies crumble under cannon shot. To the motherland! What are you doing? Captain gave us extra coin to occupy ourselves while we're on leave. What are you doing? We've been draining Valian wine cellars and trying to remember the words of Rawatai anthems. <laughs> Loudly, as often as not. Okay, that was worthless. That was, I don't know why we had to do that. There's probably a quest that I just don't have yet. Don't, don't be sorry. We just got it, Saint Guard. Like, a minute ago. All right, saving. Save, 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 save. Save, save, save. Okay. Was he hitting on you? No, I don't think so. He's just drunk. We're awake right now. Yeah. Shh. Keep your voices down, my cullies. Wait, what? You want something? Oh. I don't like that. Random NPCs talking that don't have anything to do it for me. Walking around the city would take forever. Thank you, Ash. 
That's very sweet of you. Good morning. My favorite privateer. Oh, not that guy. Stay silent unless you can benefit me. I'm a PC. Yeah, excuse me, NPCs. You're not supposed to speak unless you have a quest for me. I will step out with you soft handed once. Wait, how do I get to the fucking. The Ranga Nui leads us, but he represents all the problem. Tweedly deedly dee. Okay, I'm sorry. I keep saying that, don't I? I, it's stuck in my head. You guys keep resubscribing. Can't help myself. Can't help myself. You feel like the Benny Hill music needs to play when your party all runs like that? I love the sound of their little feet going pitter patter. It's so good. It's impossible to cheat at Hazatoa. Hey, Clear dude. Skies. Ah. Um, I restored the Adra at Pococahara. That explains the rumors the Valians are scaling Hi, up Gideon. in Queen's Hi, Gideon. Hi, Grandwish. I'd hoped you would stop them. His expression doesn't change, but you can feel his dissatisfaction like a shift in temperature. Um, shrug. Nevertheless, I'm more interested in reports the storms around the islands have cleared. What do you know of this? Strong concentrations of essence affect the physical world. That's how blights manifest, for instance. Even if this isn't the outcome we'd wanted for Poco Kahara, your observation is infinitely more valuable. Really? Take this and remember it the next time we call on you. We'd long suspected something unnatural was behind the storms. He's really but slow we at talking. Evidence. The smile playing at his lips is that of a man who's seen the next three moves in a game of Hazatoa. Rawatai is plagued by terrible storms. You think there might be a connection? Yes. If the storms that assail Rawatai have a similarly unnatural origin, then perhaps they too can be stopped. And if that's the case, then there's more work to be done. Work that you might be able to help with. Maybe, Aldrich. After all, if you're going to make friends in the dead fire, you might as well choose the ones with the biggest cannons. Oh, no. In any case, Hazanui Karu has a matter that could use your help. Her office is on the main floor behind the large double doors. It's most conspicuous. All right, peace. He acts like he's gonna do one thing, then he does something else. No, we don't That's need Iavara. Iavara is the little worst. Shodi is like better than Iavara, but only a little bit better than Iavara. Patter, patter, pitter, patter, pitter, patter. Oh, look, they went two different ways. Hi. Asura tells me you tamed the storms of Poco Kohara. Yes, I did. That was me. It makes a person wonder. What kind of secrets lie in Andra's mortar? Andra's mortar? Uh, it makes me want to stay indoors. She grins, smoke curling between her teeth. Did that keep at Kadnua dull your taste for the unknown? Don't tell me you've never gazed at a horizon and wondered at what lies beyond. Or seen a no trespassing sign as a challenge. I suppose I have. That's the spirit. Ah! Rautai's storms have made us who we are as a nation. Hardy, driven, inventive. But they've also held us back. Forced our people to seek resources and livelihoods far from our homes and families. Imagine how much more we could achieve if we could control those storms. You think something in Andra's mortar will help with that? Why not? The storms there cannot be natural. Not when they are so ferocious, so constant. But enough of that for now. Oh, shit. There's an understatement. The trouble in Hosongo forced us to send additional ships back to Rawatai to make up for shortfalls. And storms at home have delayed another portion of our fleet. This leaves us short-handed here. 
What are you asking of me? We're due to collect a special shipment for delivery to our port at Sayuka. We've contracted with a captain named Widler. A flicker of distaste passes over her face. Meet her, complete the trade, and take the cargo to Sayuka. Fleet Master Okaya is overseeing the development of some special projects there. She's one of the brightest minds in Rawatai, and it shows. You two will get along. Most of her work is, or should be, under wraps for now. But perhaps she can give you a taste of what we have to offer. Why don't you just send Widless crew to Sayuka? Her laugh sounds like a grunt. Let's just say, I'm not keen to invite them to a port where we're developing experimental technologies. We'll to be flying Princhby colors. On occasions, she ain't flying force. One of the young bloods. Oh, she's a pirate. Along with half the population of this storm-tossed archipelago. I know you've had several run-ins with the Principe already. Maybe Whitlow will think twice before crossing you. What's the shipment? It'll be easier for Okaya to explain. <sighs> I've got a lot to do. I can't promise you anything. Nevertheless, I'm sure your business will take you. Whitlow's agreed to meet our courier out at sea, away from the heaviest traffic. This is her payment. We've already negotiated with her. Okay. Fleet Master Okaya will see to your compensation once you arrive with the cargo. This is the kind of job that's best completed quickly and quietly. I'm counting on your famous discretion. Clear skies. Calm seas. 